All right, in today's video, we're making the case for Capture the Flag to be the third game mode for the CDL for next season in MW3. So let's get right into it. So there's been a lot of talk in the community about what's going to be the third game mode going into MW3. And a lot of talk has been, you know, maybe we replace Control with Capture the Flag. Obviously, we're expecting Control to still be the third game mode going into this year, just because it's been the staple throughout the last few years of the CDL. But there have been talks, you know, what if we just change that third game mode up? A lot of times spectators aren't really having fun watching Control players themselves haven't really been too fond of control either since black ops 4 so it seems like there aren't that many people that are actually in favor of keeping it as a game mode so we'll dive into why people are talking about ctf so fondly going into this next year so in my opinion when ctf is good and when ctf is at its best it's definitely better than control when it's at its best i would say the average control game is just on par with the excitement with ctf but i think there are some flaws with ctf that can be addressed uh, with some fixes to the game mode and i think it would be really cool to see some fixes if we do end up wanting to play it in the next year so the case for ctf you know we have played it in the past before in multiple titles specifically you know everyone talks about black ops 2 it was a really good ctf game uh, but then you go back into world war 2 and look at that year and it was a pretty stalemate -y, you know super boring year for ctf and it probably has to do with the maps that were being played but also the game mechanics of world war 2 were a little bit boring from a spectator side to begin with so maybe with the faster movement the new mechanics uh, it can bring that excitement back to ctf and specifically with these maps. So going to the maps, you know, these were the old MW2 2009-2010 season maps and they were playing CTF back in the day during that year. So we know that these maps work for the specific game mode and it's really hard to try and force old maps into a new game mode like Control. So it can be tricky in that sense. So there's no guarantee that Control will play well in this next year. So, you know, if we were going to change it at one point, I think this would be the year to do it because we already know that the maps that we'll be playing have been played competitively in that game mode. And in general, I think just CTF breeds a more competitive, objective focus to the game mode. You know, control, you know, depending on the map and the situation, it can be very TDM based and not as much fun as a spectator or player, especially when we're dealing with those really one-sided maps similar to like, you know, Gavudu or Fortress, where one side was just so much more overwhelmingly overpowered and you'd get, you know, 70 to 80% win rates on one side. And it would just be basically who can get more kills to go into at round five and get that defense but in ctf at least it always seems to be a little bit more balanced but that goes to kind of my next point so the main reason why people don't like ctf is because of the boring stalemate -y gameplay where two teams have pulled each other's flags and they're basically just waiting for the other team to make a move because there's no incentive to keep pressure on so you basically just have each flag at the opponent's base just waiting for a, a kill and a cap to go in but unfortunately sometimes that just takes forever and you know it could take minutes of time where or something actually happens on the map. You go back to Arden Forest on World War II, you know, very stalemate where you see, you know, minutes at a time where teams were just sitting at the back of their base waiting for some action to happen to go cap the flag, but it, sometimes it just never came. And in my opinion, if we were going to bring CTF back this next year, we need to counter this specific situation. And the way to counter that is to actually, you know, tune the maps to make it so that one side is a little bit more favorable. And you know, I'm not going towards, you know, that 70%, 80% win rate, as long as you know, it's a maybe 55 to 45 or 60 40 that kind of balance you know i do think those you know slightly favored good sides for those maps would actually work better in call of duty simply because there's no neutral objective on the map similar to like halo where there's power weapons you know we don't actually have to fight for anything on the map to force that aggression so it's just those two flags on each other's bases you know in halo where you have those power weapons if you don't get that power weapon you know you're dying whenever that team gets a push on you while you're trying to you know sit back in your base so this forced aggression is kind of neat in Call of Duty. You know, you need to give an incentive to one of those sides to force an aggression. So similar to like control, you know, the onus is on the offense to have that aggression because if they don't cap the points or kill the entire enemy team in that time limit, you know, they lose the round. So in CTF right now, there is no forced aggression on either side because they don't technically need to leave their base. You know, if anything, if they leave their base and die, they're actually just throwing for their team because the enemy team can now, you know, try and return that flag and cap it on their own. So if they're just both staying at the same side of their base, you know, that's just competitive gameplay at that point because they're just trying to do what would be best for them in a competitive standpoint. And, you know, rather than take those risks of actually trying to get those kills, you know, you're trying to let the other team make that mistake and bring the fight to you while you're just sitting in the back of your base with the flag ready to cap it. You know, this is what happens when those CTF maps are 50-50 or like really even sides because there is no incentive to keep going and actually push to the other base. With that stalemate position, you know, you're not weakening your play and you're not strengthening the other team's play so 
so you can just sit there. But with a slightly favored good side, like I was talking about before, let's say it's 60 40 win rate, you know, that one side, the quote unquote good side, has that incentive to actually be aggressive on the map and try and go for that cap because they know going into that quote unquote bad side the next half that they might not have those type of chances to actually cap the flag. So in this case, you know, they're on that good side. They need to force the issue because it is more valuable on their side to cap the flag because they have a higher win rate on that side. And in this case, if you're on that bad side, but manage to get the flag pulled and have that stalemate position, you know, the onus isn't really on you because you are technically on that bad side. So you're not expected to cap as many flags as the enemy team. So you're in a position where you can sort of wait back and not actually have to force the issue because you're not favored on that side. You know, by being on that bad side, you did your job by actually pulling the flag and actually having that chance to cap it. But you know, with the stalemate situation, the other team favored to cap the flag they might have that pressure to go inside your base and try and break that stalemate so that they can have a valuable side on their half. Now, this CTF versus control situation comes with all these caveats, obviously. You know, we don't know if CTF is even in the game right now. We don't know what the spawns would be like, whether it's like a squad spawny or whether it's similar to the actual maps back in 2009, 2010. So we don't know that as of yet, but I believe we should at least test CTF out. I don't see why not. It would just take a few scrims of actually testing the maps, seeing if players like it, seeing if it would be a good game mode for us to play for the league this year. So personally, I think it's at least worth it to try it out. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. We can also test out control. You know, there's no downside to testing both maps and maybe even those demolition maps back in 2009, 2010 work well with control. You know, we don't know until we actually play it. So I'm just making the case that we should at least be testing CTF because it played out well back in the old MW2 and it could shake things up because I think in general, I like it as a more competitive game mode uh, rather than control, especially uh, past BO4. You know, I think giving CTF a chance, you know, back in World War II, we didn't have the same type of speed and mechanics that we have nowadays. So we might as well see what it's like going into this new generation of Call of Duty and not in a slower boots on the ground game like World War II was. And maybe things shake out differently and it actually plays well. So again, it's at least worth testing out. So let me know what you guys think. Would you like CTF brought in? Would you rather see a different type of third game mode like in the previous videos I was doing? Or would you rather or just keep it standard like we have in the past few years you know control hasn't gone anywhere and it might not even go anywhere but it has been a staple for cdl the last few years and maybe just like it as a game mode and you'd like to see some consistency throughout the league and rather than changing game modes you know keeping it the same and keeping consistent that way but i think i speak for everyone i think we'd all rather have uplink you know jetpacks for just game three and have uplink played you know i think that was obviously the best game three mode that we ever had in competitive call of duty but obviously it's probably not a possibility without jetpack. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in the next one.